Yeah, YouTubers, Taz, man here, bringing you another episode of WoW vs. DDO. And in our last episode, we conquered the gingerbread man. We defeated the, uh, what was it? We needed that. We defeated the tree. <laughs> well, actually, that wasn't in the last episode. Uh, and we, we got the dude out of the bear and killed a unicorn so yeah we're rocking it um so we're gonna go ahead and turn in this quest because I guess we didn't do that so there we go quest is it been a quest has been advanced uh, are you the, who's is this the person that Where's the the main? Co oh, isn't it? Is it you? Who's the one that has the whole bunch of chalice things? So we did that one. I thought it was her. But we already did that. Was it? It's not someone down here. Who? The, who's the chain giver? No. Are you a chain giver? I can't see above your head. No, that's a repeatable. It wasn't... Was it him? Give me a list of your quests so we can see which ones we've done and which ones we need to do but where <laughs> I don't remember where the chain giver is the quest chain I thought it was this person not him was it someone down here I don't think it was and that's the chain giver for up here I'm definitely missing something here. I could have swore it was this Hawthorne. And she just says talk to Mulberry again. Wait, is this... Did I... Was that an accepting of the quest? Maybe that's what it is. Let's go outside and just see if there is a blinking door, <laughs> I guess. Because for some reason, I can't remember who the quest giver is. Well, there definitely is something out here. So if we hit map. Yeah, there's a blinking door. Let's go to the blinking door. Dun 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 dun. So it's kind of funny. Um, that last quest we did, where we had to get the the owl butter and the other stuff. Um, I just barely did that one with uh, with my friends that I, I play this with on Mondays and uh, it was kind of cool because I actually wasn't completely lost and just following them like a lost puppy I kind of knew exactly what we were doing and where we were going and what we needed it was pretty epic and this is not where we go oh is it this one I've done this one before. Ow. Uh, normal. Enter. Quick. I don't remember it, but I do remember doing this one. I, this one might be... Oh, I've got to go turn up the audio real quick. Uh, audio. 
any who linger will be put to the test. We're being put to the test. So, uh, let's see. A deep voice booms through the cavern. Turn back, stranger. Is this all one quote? Yep. Weak reeds are not welcome in my workshop. Anyone who who linger will... Shouldn't that be lingers? Will be put to the test. That's okay. We got this. Uh, but let's go ahead and make sure we poison our blade. Oh, and... No, nah, actually, we'll be fine there. I don't remember going down a giant spiral for a week and a half, though. Alright, so we need to find Thornwright and kill a bunch of beetles, apparently. There we go. funny too when I'm playing with uh, my friends and stuff like uh, I don't want to go that way just yet I want to take out these beetles real quick I don't like opening so many different directions that uh, mobs can come from so we're gonna go this way since it's open and this is more than likely the way they want us to be going looks like we have a shrine here definitely don't need it yet oh I'm going to get so lost in here. Is there anything up here? Yes, there is. More beetles! Three of them. Okay. In. What is this thing? Hello? <sighs> You're a stubborn weed indeed, stranger. Almost as stubborn as that arrogant archfey who was here before you. We'll see how, how you do. Speak with Salix. She will put you to the test. Oh, of course you did. Sprig. All those who seek Thornwright are tested. I do not remember, but like I said, when I'm playing with uh, my friends, usually they're a bit ahead of me, and they have all this, they already know this stuff, so they'll skip it, or already get the quest, and I won't know what to do. A Wait. dryad leaps from the tree. Okay, I know Sensing where I am, surprise, kinda. She motions for you to speak with her. I'm up to any test you can begin. The dryad calls for the test to begin, and creatures instantly spring to the attack. There's going to be a lot of these, too. There's like, I think, if I remember right, there's like three or four waves. I don't need that. Ugh, birds. I hate these birds. They're kind of a pain to hit. Blinky dog. Another blink dog over here. Okay. Immune to poison. And she's immune to poison. Everyone's immune to poison. Ooh, I got gripped. Break free. There we go. We got the one. Got the other one. To complete the test, the dryad joins the fray herself. Ooh, I'm I'm held. I love the sound those drives make. Mm. 
We are definitely taking some damage. The Dryad calls for a halt to the battle. You neither bend nor break. Good. The Thornwright is willing to see you. You may enter. She makes a gesture, and a door opens. I want to... Oh, that's a res shrine, isn't it? Maybe we should go back... Oh, there's... This guy didn't jump into the battle. All right, I want to... I, I think that's the way we're supposed to go. But we might have another battle, so I'd like to go back to wherever that... Rest shrine... Is this where we started? No. I don't want to go there yet. I do want to go there because I want to see what is there. Uh, I've got another fire beetle there, but I think the rest shrine is right here. I'm going to wait just a minute before we do that. Why can I hit this dude? And we're not going to be able to heal all the way up. I do know that. Okay. <laughs> what is this spot hidden? Hello? Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, there we go. As you say, I'm a rogue. I should spot all hiddens. Not a lot of room to bob and weave here. There we go. Of course it's locked. Refurbished necklace. Nothing super good. Alright, there was a face over here. Are we supposed to talk to it? Watch your step, stranger. A little late, but okay. Oh, fire beetle on patrol. Uh, let's see, have we been here? Uh, looks like we haven't been this way. I should just leave that up because I have no idea where I'm going. So we have another gate we can break there. Okay, I don't like it to be quite this big. <sighs> Do I break it? Because right here is that one rest shrine. This way... Is I hear more. Oh, spider. Spiders. So this goes back to one of those other rooms we're in. Okay. I kind of keep hitting it. There we go. So that goes back there, so we know that one. And was there a room off to this side? Nope. How about this side? Nope. Okay. Uh, so it looks like there is one more at least right here. Huge thorny brambles grow in the damp soil of this chamber. The mud begins to shudder and shake as you approach. Oh boy, this guy is tough and I probably should have. Let's run just for a second. Drink. Another. Uh, 
Uh, oh, I never did control three quick. I'm moving so slow. There we go. We got another face here. Who will guard my thorn bushels? Okay. Any club critical bludgeoning. I will take it. Alright, so I think that was all the different places. I'm going to go ahead because I don't. 13, not bad. Let's do some of these smaller ones. Six. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a decent rest here. too good but all right I guess all right so let's go ahead and a little further right here let's go find Hawthorne see if we have to fight maybe we should drink another one of these or two of these that was terrible one really that was better <laughs> Alright, I think that's probably good enough. Uh, am I supposed to fight that guy? I don't know. A gnarled woodwork I bet you I am. picks through a pile of brambles, plucking out the largest and sharpest thorns. Surely this is the thorn knight. Hello? Ah, <laughs> uh, you've passed my test, Sprig. It is... Uh, bought you a moment of my time. Now speak quickly and be gone. You craft some for here, Sam. What was it and where can I find it? I have to ask, what can you possibly make out of thorns? The chest over there. I don't suppose I could have a quick rummage around. Just, you know. Oh, oh boy. I think he's going to fight me. Bull little sprig that Prince of Satyrs paid me well for my work and now you ask me to tell his tale yes uh, da, da, da. I'm just reading it you guys can read it yourself I'm Thornwright explains that he crafted a magic needle for Hirsum. A needle that now contains Hirsum's immortality. Am the I Prince supposed to fight this guy though? Took that needle to some place called the Treasure Grove. The Treasure Grove. Alright, I'm gonna... He's gonna fight me now. Oh, cool. He says... Yeah, go ahead. And I'm good with that. Unless he lies. Ooh, that's pretty good. Can I wear that? Listen, insight and spot plus six. That seems pretty good. Not that I'm really any kind of authority on what's good in this game. What's up here? Alright, Mr. Dude, thank you for the stuff. This is like the first one in a little while that we've actually finished in one session instead of having to split it up. Alright, let's go ahead and recall again. We are super close to level 8 as well. Uh, 
Alright, let's go up here, go talk to you. Mulberry. I did your dirty deed. Armor piercing short sword. I'm using a long sword. Oh, this does the same damage. Plus three, plus two. I mean, it's better than what we got. So I might as well take it. This is one thing, and this just might be me being dumb, but in World of Warcraft, for me, it is way easier to know exactly what's going to be more beneficial for me to actually take. Um, in this, it's uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. So is this the chain giver? That's my question. Yes, this is actually. Why don't they have the multi-chalice? But anyway, like I said, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, is that it? Hello? Who are you talking to? Person up here. Okay, runner. Alright, we'll go talk to him after. Um, it's just easier for me in WoW because they kind of show you this is what goes up, this goes down. Now, armor and the different things actually have a lot more... There's a lot more buffs slash debuffs, I, I guess I would call it, in this, where you, like, you have uh, Death Ward and all these other things that I know very little about, such as if we look on this, the Diversion, Feather Falling, obviously I know what that is, but, you know, uh, Feeding 5, I don't know what that necessarily means without reading it. So, uh, you know, uh, like I said, I'm not trying to say that's a bad thing of this game because I really enjoy both games. Uh, oil, oil, and scroll. We'll go and sell all that. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead and end it here before I put my foot in my mouth too many more times. Um, we're going to go over by the little doggy, and I think we'll go ahead and call it good for this episode. So I'm not sure if I've ever done this quest. I might have. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Discord and my other channels. And don't forget to tell people you know about my channel. Come check it out. If they like what they see, they can sub and we can grow the channel, you know doesn't hurt anyone to uh, just let him know about it. And that will be it. Until next time, I will be seeing you later. Bye!